My name is Brother Sean, also known as the Barefoot Franciscan Monk. I'm the founder of the Teo community of interspiritual Franciscans, a lay monastic community of men and women of different faiths who embrace one Father Mother God. And in prayer I was guided by Gaia to email our members and invite them to revisit the invitation that Gaia gave me in February 2010 to become more proactive as ambassadors of peace. But why should we become ambassadors of peace when we have the United Nations? We have politi politicians and governments striving for peace. But sadly, as we all know from our own personal experiences of asking the solicitor to resolve our problem, they only extend it, causing untold suffering. Although they do conclude at the end of their correspondence, we await your instructions. Well, Gaia is awaiting your instructions with mine today. She's inviting us as ordinary men and women to reclaim the divinity within us and as a child of God, a child of the light, I don't buy into religion or its dogma because a lot of its dogma has alienated the, the child of God and we have witnessed down through the centuries since the inception of religion of man's inhumanity to man and this very day as I speak to you my heart is hurting because my extended family, the other sons and daughters of God, my brothers and sisters in Syria, are killing one another. And I'm mindful also of the Taliban in Afghanistan who abuse their women, who rape them, discredit them, and have them executed if they dare to question the male authority. And my young girls, are circumcised and whose lives are ruined. For what? Male ego. Gaia had one request, well two, to send love, light and blessing to Jerusalem, the heart chakra of the world, the seat and birthplace of the Abrahamic faith. But her second request was to pray for the Abrahamic faith, that they would come from their male ego driven dogmas and embrace the feminine energies of God. Today I'm inviting you to join me, not to become a monastic like me, although that will be lovely, but to become an ambassador of peace for Gaia, to become a friend of Gaia. Why should we become friends of Gaia? Well think about it. She has given us a beautiful earth, a gift from God. She nurtures this landscape and provides for it and the animal kingdom, even while we sleep. But look how we repay her. Look at deforestation, chemical pollution, our advancement for success. Oh yes, we've got Twitter and Facebook. We've got the iPad, the iPhone, but we're nowhere nearer. To truly listening in our heart to the Supreme. So how can you and I help Gaia? Well firstly and more importantly by lighting a candle. Simple and looking at the candle and what do we see? We see a flame that is divine love. That is the love of a father mother God who invites us to embrace, embrace a simple way of living, a life of trust, a life of surrender, surrendering our heart to love and peace. And the, the shell, the candle frame that is Gaia, solid, reliable, dependable, holding the flame of divine love on planet Earth. And she calls us to embrace that love. And the least we can do in recognition for what she does for us 
for the air that we breathe, for the food that we eat, for the water that we take for granted. Let us hold this flame and let our answer be yes. By first becoming a people of prayer, not like the monks and nuns like me where we chant the office, but to just sit quietly in nature's cathedral and admire the sunset and giving thanks. Respecting the animal kingdom, the elements and all that Gaia provides for us. And then let us hold all our brothers and sisters in every country of the world, especially those in turmoil, the young children and babies dying of starvation or, in, or disease, corrupt politicians and bankers, corrupt governments. And look at Syria, the Middle East, Jerusalem, Palestine, where they are destroying each other. Why? Power. Let us hold them in our heart and let us become a people of prayer. And in our unity as prayer partners for Gaia and God, we are bypassing the bureaucrats and the politicians. And we are becoming proactive as children of God, friends of Gaia. And we have more power than we realize because we are a child of God, a child of the light, a child of the supreme. And when we surrender our heart to that love, we become the beating heart of a loving God. Now I'm not asking you to become converts. I'm just asking you to come from a place of selfishness where we take so much for granted and where we abuse the gift of freedom with our total lack of disrespect. This short video is an invitation for you to reawaken the divine within you and to become a custodian with Gaia of this beautiful earth and to make it a more peaceful, loving place and where we see atrocities we don't stand there and just engage with the drama and panic we stop, we become still and we send love, light and blessing to that chaos and we say to Gaia, I want to be your friend and I am willing to add my penneth worth to peace. Join us on Heart to Soul Prayer Partners for Peace, our interspiritual, inter international network of like-minded spiritual souls who plant seeds of hope where Gaia waters them and brings them to fruition in her own way not in our time. And come and join us on live stream, Heart to Soul Prayer Partners for Peace, where we go live every night, seven nights a week for one hour, to send love, to send light, and to send blessing to Jerusalem, the heart chakra of this world. And to pray that many more will rise up and not lie there giving in to despair. You and I have more power within our being as a child of God than we realize. And Jesus said, and I'm not pushing Jesus here, but I am married to Jesus as a bride of Christ, as a monastic. He said, when I've gone, you will be doing greater things to me. And if you say to that mountain, move, it will move. We have a wonderful power at our disposal, and it's called love. And as Jesus said, greater love than this has no man, than he laid down his life for his friends. And he calls us to be friends. 
and to work with Gaia to make this world a beautiful place where all men and women and children can live in harmony and peace. Thank you. God bless you. Namaste. Shalom. Inshallah. Accept bonum shanti. Solo to Caritas.